Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at different ways that you can edit the host file on Windows 11 or Windows 10. On Windows, you can edit the host file to manually override the system domain name system or DNS settings for a specific website or device connected to a local network. And on the operating system, you have at least three different ways to complete this task. Okay, let's dive into the steps. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping my channel and supporting my work. First, I'm going to explain how to edit the host file using Notepad. And to do that, open Star and look for Notepad. Right click on it and click the Run as an Administrator option. This is important, otherwise you won't be able to save the file to the system. Now click on File and let's go to Open. And now we need to navigate to C, Windows, System32, Drivers, and then we're going to look for the ETC folder. We're going to Show All Files, and then we're going to select the Hosts file, and then just click the Open button. Before editing the file, it is best to test the current connection so you know that the settings that you're going to apply, they're going to work. So for example, I'm going to ping google.com to see the IP address that this domain is pointing to. So now to create a new entry on the host file, just need to create a new line. And then you need to input the IP address destination for the web service space, and then the domain name and this part is optional, but you can add a pound sign and a description of the entry that you're adding to the host file. Now, we just go to file and then we're going to choose the save option. And now the new setting is going to apply to the computer. So now if we go back to command prompt and we run the same ping command, now it will point to the new address that we specified in the host file. And this is only going to affect to this computer. So you can always come back to the same file. You can edit the IP address or you can delete the entry entirely and then just save the file and test the configuration. And as you can see, now we're back into the original configuration. The second method that I'm going to be explaining includes using the Power to Toys tool, which even though you will be installing another application, if you have to edit this file frequently, it is perhaps the best option. To start, I will explain the steps to quickly install this application if you don't already have it. If you do, just skip forward to the steps to modify the host file using the host file editor on Power Toys. So first, open Start and look for Command Prompt or the terminal. Actually, I'm going to use this version of the terminal. And then right click on it and select the Run as an Administrator option. And then you want to use this command to install Power Toys. Then just press Enter and the application is going to install. I already have it installed on the computer, so I don't know if it is an update, which apparently there is one. So I'm just going to wait for the process to complete. Now that Power Toys is installed, we're going to open the app through Start and look for Power Toys. Now open the Hosts File Editor section and make sure to turn on this toggle switch. Now to open the editor, just click this option. Now click the Set button. And to add a new entry, we're going to click New Entry. Then you want to enter the IP address that you want to redirect a, a specific host. In this case, for host, we're going to be using google.com. If you want to add any comment, you can input it right here. For example, pound this PC redirects google.com to an specified IP address. And then set the option to active and then click the Add button. And that's it. So now this configuration is active. And if we open Command Prompt, and if we try to ping google.com, you can see that it's going to this IP address, which is actually an IP from Google as well. Now, if you want to deactivate this specific configuration, just reopen the editor and select the entry and turn off the active switch and click the update button. Now, if you no longer need this entry, just click the delete button right here. 
And now going back to command prompt, if we try to ping google.com, we can see that the configuration has been removed. And now the host is pointing to the original IP address. Now, if you are going to edit this file quite often, you can also right click on the icon and pin it to the taskbar. So the next time that you need access to the tool, you don't have to open Power Toys first and navigate and then open the editor. However, you do have to remember to right click on the icon and then right click the app again and select the run as administrator option. Otherwise, you won't be able to save the changes that you make to the host file. Now, the last option that I'm going to explain to edit the host file is to use command prompt. And to do that, open start and look for a command prompt or the terminal. Right click on the app and select the run as administrator option. And then to add another entry into the file on Windows 10 or Windows 11, just use this echo command. And basically you just need to type echo space, the IP address space, the domain or the host that you want to point the IP address. And then you want to write this into the host file and then press enter. Now, if you want to see if the changes has been applied to the file, you need to run this type command, which basically is going to output the contents of the uh, host's file. And as you can see, it's right here. Now, there isn't a good way to actually edit or delete an entry using command prompt. So basically here, if you are actually into the console, you want to use this command to actually open the host file. And from here, just do your edits and then save the file. You can confirm that the uh, change has been applied by running the type command. And as you can see, the file doesn't contain any entries because we just delete them. And that's it. Those are three ways that you can use to edit the post file on Windows 11 or Windows 10. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.